Hey scrubs, welcome back to your turn to die. I apologize for uh, how long it's taken me to continue this series, but I am determined to finish it. In last episode, we started the new chapter and now we're basically in this kind of, kind of weird game show. I'm not exactly sure how to say it. And there's a lot of these mini games. I'm still trying to figure it out myself, but it's very interesting. Last time we streamed it, I'm not streaming it right now, obviously. If you missed that episode, be sure to check it out, okay? Goldman Asai. Goldman Asai for waiting so long. All right, I wanted to do this memory dance, and we didn't do it last time. Uh, well, well, I couldn't do it because it was really hard, so I'm going to try to do it again this time. Hopefully, we can do this. We just got to beat this memory dance. Down. Down, body, down. Okay. Down. Down, body, down. I like how this game's so serious and then it's just, it's dancing. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So far, so far, good start, good start, baby. <laughs> oh, snap. This, so the beginning's really easy. Okay, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay. All right. Bro, I don't remember. I don't remember. I need your help. Okay, so wait, wait I did the body. Uh, oh no, up last. And then body. Okay, no, I freaking blew it. No, no, no. This is where it gets really hard. Okay, uh, 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 help! <laughs> Dude, I'm blowing it so bad right now. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh, yeah, we keep going. Thank God. Oh, okay. All right. I know this. It's way easier when you have the last half. Oh, no. This is how far we got last time. Okay. 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 Up. 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 So a circle. So a circle. Oh, okay. I think I got this. How? How did I do that? Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Down. Okay, so I think it did that like three times. Dude, no. It's too late. It's too late. I blew it. I blew this too much. I gave him my best shot. It's so hard. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's my turn to die. Okay. <laughs> okay. At least we know this is probably the hardest one there is. And if I can do this, that means I can do anything. What? Holy crap, I can't believe I did that. Completely guessing. Wait. Yes, yes. Use perfect memory. Oh, I needed that. Wait, which one am I on right now? Okay. Watch, I still fell this. I, I may have already messed up, to be honest. Oh no, I messed up, I think. That's so sad. That sucks so bad. Ah, oh, God. Why am I trash? This is where it gets impossible, man. Up body, down body. Up, so up, down. Oh, I gotta, I gotta use it. Bro, I just... <laughs> this is so sad. 
I literally cheated, still couldn't beat it. That, ah, this is so hard. Ah, makes me want to scream. It's my turn to be stupid. That's what I feel like this game should really be called. I'm not a freaking recorder on my phone if I have to. I'm getting past this. I'm not afraid to admit it. I suck. This guy is what screws me up, man. Him and his fabulous moves. Look, I understand that this is the equivalent saying that, oh, well, you you might want to train your memory, right? Because uh, in the real world, you're not going to have a phone uh, to record things. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. And yes, I do. That's what they said in class. Oh, you won't have a calculator to do math. What do I need to learn it for? Okay? I'm not proud. Don't lie and say you wouldn't do the same thing. I'm not ashamed. Okay? I'm justifying this. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm using... I'm using phone a friend for this one. Do not fail this. This is be so sad. Is that it? Is there more? Oh god. <laughs> I'm a dirty stinking cheater. I don't care. I don't care. Piece of cake, huh, Sarah? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was so easy. Uh, here, the clear chips, half and half. Obtain two clear chips. Yeah, so we're supposed to be getting chips. I forgot exactly why, because it's been a few weeks, but... Negotiation. Don't discuss. Why do I have that option? Sarah, I want to trade 20 tokens between you, me, and now. Let's cancel real quick. I want to- we have to go- oh, I can't. Oh, uh, Sarah, it's not a trade or anything, but can we talk? Discuss. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I should save it. Because I don't know, like, what I should be doing or should not be doing. Alright, let's hear a short pitch. You see, I decided uh, with Reko that we trade 20 uh, tokens each. But you know, gotta cross the shanky bridge to, uh, together. For instance, we could pass 20 tokens like this, me to Sarah to now. We're passing the other way now uh, to Sarah to me. This way, we don't have to extra... This way, we don't need to have extra trade partners in the future, see? So they're trading to trade them like this instead of an equal share. Sarah, want to trade 20? I mean, sure. What? Uh, sure. That's the ticket. So how are we doing this trade? If we pass tokens like this, or else like this, that's a good way to give 20 tokens, right? They're daring you to trade them like this instead of equal share? Sarah, you can choose whatever uh, direction you like. Yep, and if you don't want to trade, we'll do it ourselves, so don't worry about it. Uh, I'd like to receive tokens from... Who want from those who want to admass them? I told Alice I want to help him to collect Reko's tokens, but hmm, what should I give to? Should I and who should I receive some? So we should receive from Neko, right? If we want our Reko, if we want to get her tokens, right? I, I'm always <laughs> this game has some confusing concepts. If you don't like, but I don't know. I am I am just like stupid anyway. So I'll give my tokens to now Reko. Please give me yours. Got it. Don't lose them, okay? So I got 20 of hers. That's it for negotiations. I don't know if I just ruined the game. Oof, it hurts, meow. What's wrong, game? Uh, the two of us went and did an attraction, but I couldn't quite protect him. Big says, Sarah, I'm okay. Just a scratch. How do you get a scratch? But you're bleeding. I can lick it better. Woof. Oh, God. Stop. Would it be nice somewhere to... Would it be nice to have someone to care for wounds? Uh... Oh, God. Yeah, that's right. Freaking this freaking thing. Would you like to go to the medical office? What do you want? What's funny is they're offering medical help when they're just like killing people. But it wouldn't be good if you, the wound was left to fester. You've got no right to be warding over me, melon soda lady. Ooh, get him. Medical treatment for participants is just part of my job, you see. Hmm, can't exactly believe you that easily. Are you trying to take a vow, Safalin? Oh. <laughs> the voice crack, man. I vow that I will cause him no harm. I won't go back on my word. Hmm. Can't trust her. I'd be mad if she remodeled my body into some weird superhuman. Hey, that sounds kind of cool. You do it if you want it to, to that much, meow. I won't force it upon you, but I would definitely do think you should get treatment. What to do now? You know what? I think you should trust her. I mean, it doesn't sound like she wants to kill us. Like, she could just kill us right now if she really wanted to, surely. Let's try trusting her. Big Sister, Sarah, are you serious? Yeah, if she's about to do something bad, KG and I will protect you. Sounds good to me. Thank you so much. Please follow me this way. I'm going with my gut feeling. This is the medical office. 
That's or uh, what's this place? Does it lead outside? I uh, know everything you see outside is an image project projected on the class cabinets. Yeah, well, I'm used to this. An image? Yes, currently we're displaying a soothing tropical scene. How do you like it? Oh, you're right. It does feel nice. Feels like the AC's turned just right for it, too. How observant. I actually managed this room myself. It serves as a laboratory as well. So can we heal again? Ah, uh, yes. The medical supplies are over there. So, so far, Saplin seems kind of nice. But I don't know. They, they could just be uh, obviously following orders. I think they look cool, but I you know. They have green, so... Keiji's tending to Gen's wound. It's lighter than I thought. Does it hurt again? It doesn't, but I do, but I want to have Bixisera heal it for me. Well now, uh, got me in a sore spot. A wound like this should be fine, just being washed in water and bandaged. I have a salve that speeds up cellular repair, so if you use that as well, it will, uh, it will act more quickly. Work more quickly. Sure, that's, sure that's not dangerous? Understood, please look at this. Southland cut her own hand. Oh, dang. And use it like this uh, on the bleeding area. See, it isn't dangerous, is it? Well, I mean, they're like not real, are they? They're like dolls. Proving it with your own body, huh? Got it. Not freaky at all, okay. Uh, Saffalin is looking my way. Please take it easy. Alright, I take it easy. Mr. Policeman, what's up? Is it okay to give bis Big Sis Sarah this? No, better not give her that. Give me what? Wonder what they're talking about. Do you have something for me? It's nothing! Uh, well, that's a pretty suspicious. Look, okay, no, wait. I want to see what he hid. Show me that, Gein. No, I can't. Come on, please. And his hand was... Ah, It's the thing, big bro- Oh, it's Joe's! The dog keychain he always kept in his breast pocket. Why wouldn't you want to show me that? Yeah. I can't believe I never noticed he was actually had the little dog. The one I gave Joe. I picked it up then... Well, oh, okay. I didn't want the kidnappers to take it. Sorry. Hallucin- Oh, the- they're, Oh, God, the hallucinations. So that's right, another thing that started in this chapter is that we're having some mad hallucinations. Again, you did well. Is it okay if I take this? Still, I think she would want it, even if it her made her hallucinations pretty bad. You're glad, meow. Yeah. This is precious to me. Thank you, Gin. Sarah looks so tired. Thank goodness. No help in it, I guess. There they come! Uh, what was that all of a sudden? A hallucination, you gotta ignore it. Well, we treat again, so let's leave, right? If you get hurt, please come back again. Got it. Got it, we'll be careful. Alright, uh, let's go, you two. Okay, so you can sort of trust them. We left the medical office behind. Day one, night. Dang. So we're just really out here, okay. Reko's glancing at me to call uh, call over. I wonder what it is. Sarah, can you come with me for a second? Uh, what is it? I found a weird place. Wanted to show you before telling anyone. A weird place. Come on, follow me. Hmm. 200. What is this place? I told you, weird, yeah? The most suspicious part is these stairs. There's a vending machine at the top. Oh my god, it's Japan. They got vending machines even in places where we're all doomed. A suspicious vending machine. Uh, there aren't any items displayed inside and no prize shown either. Is there another freaking what foot or hand gonna come out of it? The power's on. A vending machine with no clear merch or prices. The hell's this deal, you think? Uh, the bill acceptor slot is plugged up, but it looks like you can put it in coins. Look, like tokens! What should we do? Put in some tokens? Hold on a second. Um, yeah, let's, let's do it. I'm so curious. I'll try putting some in. Cut it out! You don't gotta take the risk, move it! Oh, she, is she gonna do it for me? Oh, is it, is it gonna come out? Nothing's happening. Maybe one token isn't enough. Well, it says 200. That's a lot of tokens, though. Seeing as there's this number above it, maybe you have to insert 200 of them? Who's gonna earn that many? You better be a freaking god dang tasty soda! Maybe there's no need to worry about it. Got a point. 200 is just, uh, unreasonable. No problem uh, ignoring it, then. Well, isn't it? Well, ain't that a relief. Let's ditch this creepy place. Oh, Reko. I took the token she answered from the return slot and gave it back to Reko. Hey, thanks. Now, let's move, Sarah. Right. Maybe we can come back if we solve the mystery. Besides, it's about time I do an attraction. Okay. 
how many tokens do I got? So I got um, se 70 me tokens and clear chips three. I need to be reminded of what we need to. Oh yeah, so here we go. So we got 20 of the echo tokens. Yeah, still not 100% on this. Yes, that's right. So we had the prize exchange. Um, we almost have enough though for Reco's personal info. Uh, I mean, we might as well go for Reco. We've already gotten this far. But I do want the victim videos. Wait, what's stopping us from just buying it and then just reloading the game? Let's just try buying one. Oh, I can trade. Okay, I have to tr so I can't trade my own. I have to trade someone else's. I got 10 of his and 20 of hers. All right, I'm trading. I'll just reload the game. It's no big deal. Well then, here's your prize. Obtain victim video number one. You may view the victim using the, the monitor room. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Seems like this floor still got plenty of hidden areas. Yeah. How do I use it? Oh, I guess I pressed it, huh? Recording of one of the victims in the death game can only be viewed in the monitor room, which is, watch the video, yes. I should find a time when no one's looking. No. Oh. Yes! <laughs> I'll play it on the sensor monitor. Watch victim video one. No! What is this? Oh. I can't move! My legs! Ten seconds until the end of the first trial. Uh, why are you doing this to me? I've had it with this! This trial stuff, I don't get it! Mom! Dad! Somebody! Help me! Time is up. Who is this? The device will activate shortly. In commemoration, you may say some final words. Stop! I don't want to die! Oh, but they did. It hurts, Mom. Oh, that's so sad. Awful. A middle school, maybe high school student. A girl about my age was mercilessly killed. Merciless, 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 mercilessly, yes. They're making a show of it. She was toyed with just so they could make this video as a prize. I don't even know this girl's name, but... I want to avenge you. So why? Why are we seeing this? Alright, let's reload the game. Alright, let's try victim video number two. Dang it, you gotta be freaking me, man! Oh, this guy looks cool. Don't screw with me! I'm gonna kill you! All you bastards who set this crap up are dead! You hear me? I'm gonna slaughter you! Dang it! I'm gonna kill every single one of you who's treating me like this! Ah, uh, pieces of crap! Please! I can't move any further. Stop it. The walls. The walls. Are keeping in. Uh, I can't look directly at it. The walls slowly move in and the end. The man. I'm betting this was the first trial. If he survived, we likely would have met him. Oh, so like in that, in those rooms, you think there was actually more people. Okay. Would he have assisted us? Would he have antagonized us? I don't know. Either way. Why do I, I feel like the last victim video is probably going to be what's her face's sister. Oh, it's only one way to find out, right? All right. Voice. Might have to censor this. Worthless. You had to die so easily. Oh, what the heck? Who's this? Struggle some more. Cling to life. Put up a miserable resistance. A boring human. A worthless life. I don't need your dang clothes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all serious. Dang. <laughs> you did this. Sure did. You mortified? Regretful even? I was just wanting to die. Thank you. Huh? You should be- you should be miserable. Disgusting. This is pissing me off. Suffer. I guess I didn't have to censor that then. It's fine. Go to hell! You're gonna regret thanking me. What does that even mean? How can he? Again and again, he torments the life already lost. Just what is this intense hate? Why would Ranger hate someone so much? Ranger? Alright, well, do we already- I think- did we already meet him then? Even though he toys with people's lives, it doesn't make sense. Jealousy? Even I don't know why I thought that. But something intu intuit intuitively struck me. I sense a kind of jealousy from Ranger. I wonder, is it jealousy towards humans? I should stop. Just thinking about someone like him is making my heart hurt. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what happens, but I'm sure it was nothing good. So anyway, let's load the game one more time. All right, easy ticket kind of sounds stupid. I don't really want that. So we just got to save us some more points, and I, I think we could probably do the same thing with this, right? 
So if I trade tokens for a prize, oh, it just says not enough. Okay. All right. Now, so we need specific points for a person. Wait, there's wood fragments here too. Okay, I don't know what's going on over here. I wonder if the weapon so got hit with was taken from here. Hey, can we rest a little? We'll hardly get any exploring done if we keep resting so much. Okay, so we need to do another game. Card, charge card battle arm wrestling. We already did arm wrestling. So I guess we'll have one more, huh? Charge card battle. All right, well, this should be a lot easier. A game where you battle opponents by selecting three cards at a time. So it's Yu-Gi-Oh, got it. Why do I feel like, uh, who would be good for this? G Gin, maybe? Let's try Gin. As Sarah Gin sometimes cheers to recover health, he'll also recover health if he touches Icon. Oh. Let's try KG then. As KG, your detective instincts sometimes reveal two of the opponent's cards. Oh, that's definitely what we need. Okay. Ha, <laughs> Sarah's partner doesn't sound so bad. I'm really excited to know whether or not he's going to be a good guy or a bad guy. I'll have to give my blue eyes. Get, I'll have to get my blue eyes out. Uh, we'll start with me. I'll be keeping watch. Ooh, that's, that's not, that's very beautiful. Okay, charge card battle rules. Select a set of three cards to do battle with from among four types. Charge. Uh, charges one energy. Beam expends one energy to attack. Special expends three energy for a strong attack. Block completely blocks an attack. If they pick charge and you pick beam, it's a hit. But you need to charge in order to attack. That's the gist of the game. So we would start off with charge then. Note that in this case, uh, a beam versus special. Special pierces through and wins. Got it, I guess. Touching your ally's icon will give you advice and then like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna assume we're both gonna start with charge. Oh, I have to pick three. I'm gonna do charge, block, and beam. Fight with this. Let's try that out. Charge. Both charging. He's gonna charge again. Oh, there, he's just charging completely. So I did hit. I got one hit. That's the enemy's card. Oh, he helped me out. Okay, so he's got a beam. Maybe we should just, uh, we'll do a charge, block, block. I feel like he's gonna, yeah, charge again. Okay, I didn't expect him to charge again. I see, that's the enemy's card. All right. Oh, so he's gonna block. Okay, so we can definitely charge in the beginning. Charge, block, charge again. I'm kind of being a little defensive here. We haven't got hit yet. Okay, okay. That's fine. I see, this is the enemy's card. It's gonna start off a charge again. Now, well, let's just do special. It doesn't matter what he does. No, I should have waited, huh? Oh well. We'll just block and then charge. Let's just do that. Bye, you piece of crap! Ooh, are you my new opponent? Oh, it just keeps going with the next person? That's weird. Oh, did I block his special? Dang, I, I have the heart of the cards, indeed. He's only got one thing. I'm just gonna, he's probably gonna charge again. We're just gonna, ch I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a chance. Let's fight with this, just, I'm gonna just charge completely. Charge. Oh no, okay, I got hit once. All right, do I have special again? Okay, cool. Can you do more than three? I'll charge, special, and then we'll go ahead and block it. Charge, special. Oh, we canceled each other out, I think. Ah, no, that sucks. Charge, block, beam. Yes. All right, this isn't so bad. I'm just gonna block, charge, charge. Ah, uh, no! KG! Okie dokie! <laughs> so I need to tag team KG! Thanks, so he's probably gonna always reveal two cards then, huh? This is a detective's intuition! Alright, this is actually kinda nice. So, I can just charge, block, special. Hopefully he doesn't do special too. No, he can't. 
Yes! It actually worked out. Ooh, who is this? <laughs> who are these people that are getting to do these games? And here comes a real uncute rabbit. I'm gonna... Well, they know- we know they're gonna charge, so we can confidently- I'm gonna do two charges in a block. They're probably gonna charge all three, though. Oh, I could've charged three times. That would've been great, actually. Alright, so I could charge... I'm gonna charge... Special... And then charge again. Ha! Wait, no, they blocked it. So you can block specials? That's stupid. Charge, block, charge. All right, special, charge, block. Oh, direct hit. This is a direct hit. Dang! That was that damage, though. Ooh, I made the right call there. Screw it, we're going for a special again. Ooh, screw you in your little beam. That's actually a pretty fun card game, though. I wouldn't actually mind playing that in real life. That's actually really cool. It's so simple, but yet, there's like, it's a mind, this is mind games, you know? It's kind of like rock, paper, scissors. Managed to do it, I'm exhausted. And I did it on the first try, yes. Here's the clear chips. We'll take one each. Attained one clear chip. How many clear chips do we need again? I can't remember. Well, I mean, we already, we're already we already going for uh, Reco, so we might as well keep going. Sarah, it's not a trade, but you want to talk? Wait, why not? Let's hear what you have to say. Just want to chat. You need breaks, right? A break, huh? Sarah, it's not a trade, but you want to talk? I guess we'll discuss. All right, I'll pour you some coffee. Oh, I already got some, but thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So how you feeling, Sarah? Uh, I'm great. Actually, I'm exhausted. I have to admit I'm exhausted. No doubt. Of course you would be. We can't, uh, we can't get rest for our minds or in our bodies. Yo, Sarah, you like singing? Uh, yeah. I do, both listening to it and singing myself. Oh, really? I've loved singing since I was a kid. I got a lot of attention called uh, me a gifted student in grade school. So you're pretty amazing over th uh, even then, but it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Some weird guys approached me and got me making crappy songs I didn't want to make. I had a pretty long delinquent period too, until I settled with my current one. I smashed through all kinds of bands. I made trouble for Alice too. Alice? Greco, do you know about Alice's case in detail? Uh, barely know anything. In fact, I didn't want to know. I acted like I never heard what info did come in. Honestly, it was a shock. Reco. I changed since then, too. I took a good look at myself, and I realized all over again that, yeah, I loved music. A lot had happened. Yep. That's why my band is now, now as precious. A treasure, I bet. Yeah, on the level of my beloved uh, bongos. Bongos, come to think of it. That's right, the bongos. You mentioned that you uh, when you introduced yourself. Yeah. Uh, do you have an attachment to them? They're just regular bongos you could find anywhere, but... Bongos are the funniest sounding instrument ever. I don't care what you say. Like, even even a triangle is not as funny as bongos. They're precious bongos, like none other in the world. Well, anyway, enough about me. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Sarah. Uh, okay. I continue having an enjoyable chat with Reko. I feel like I came to know her a little more deeply, but whether that was a good thing, I don't know. You better not betray me, Rocco! We would be killing each other uh, again in the main game. If I knew nothing, maybe I could be heartless. Sometimes I found myself thinking that way. That was a blast, sir. I see you. Well, that's it for discussions. It's gotten late already. I can't even maintain concentration. I guess I'll call it a day. Good night. Oh, yes, I mean, as I... Hmm? There's some commotion going on outside. What could have happened this late at night? It's nothing good, that's for sure. Hey, Big Sister, it's terrible! What is it, again? The old guy was killed. Wait, old guy? The, like, the, the guy, the, the prizes? Come to think, come to the modern room. The old guy, wait, who? It's, I, I, that's gotta be him. Did they smash another monitor? 
Prize exchange. He looks alive? Wait, if it's not him, who is it? That's a doll, yeah. The old guy. The only person they could be talking about is freaking Kyutaro. Wait, it's broken. Oh, this time- Oh, that's what they mean. Professor Mishima's monitor is broken. Wait, what is this? The old guy, he's... Who would do something so cruel? No good. Seems the computer in front is just for booting it up. The AI was stored on the monitor itself. What kind of crap is that? What is it, an Apple computer? What is that? Mishima can't be booted up anymore. Well, that's messed up. I won't let them get away with this. So, you did this, didn't you? Huh? You're wrong. I would never do such a thing. Yeah, can't say I, I disagree, <laughs> you know? Kinda was sitting with him the whole time. It, it wasn't so. Uh, always with him, this late into the night. It's kinda job to watch him, so we slept in the same room. What? No, I was worried because she wouldn't let me leave, though it ended up giving me an alibi, huh? It wasn't so? I'm beat. Never run into a case with such an unclear motive behind the crime. Who was the first to discover this? Uh, that'd be the policeman here. It was you, KG. What was the situation? Uh, well, couldn't get to sleep, so I thought I'd have a chat with Mishima. When I came in, well, it looked like this. Is this that true? Yep. It's a shame, really is. Well, it could easily have been him, too, but he's trying to, like, have an alibi. Why do I get the sense, like, Keiji's telling a barefaced lie? Um, has something happened? Oh, God, she's not gonna like this. Professor? Dang, he got it. The professor gotta die twice? Someone did a sin. Any idea of the culprit? Uh, do you have any idea who have done this? You, you mean who broke it, don't you? I don't know the culprit. Um, please don't look for the culprit. What do you mean by that? Please let me be alone for a while. No clues around that, uh, what I could see. No bits of wood on the ground, like when the other monitor got broken? Nope, nothing. So the evidence was cleaned up this time. So it was someone that knew about the evidence then. This is one nonsensical incident. We'd love to solve it right away, but we need rest. Let's do a detailed investigation tomorrow. Asking Reko and Kutaro can wait till tomorrow too. Well, it's probably one of them. Mr. Policeman, you gotta find the culprit. Right. But in the end, it's just a monitor, right? Not that big of a deal. For now's sake especially. Day number two. Morning. Okay, let's do this. Yep, I don't know crap. Hmm. Looks like KG's questioning her about the incident. Got nothing else to say. Okie dokie, I'll trust you. Oh, Sarah, need something for me? Uh, learned anything? Are you flirting? Nope, don't know a thing. It's a real pickle. Uh, seems Kutaro doesn't know either. I'll keep up the investigation. See ya. Hmm, he's gone. Sarah, I got something for you. Could you come with me for a second? Uh... Oh, what the heck is this? I found something curious here. Something curious. It's hard to see in the dark, but check out the wall. It could be one of the dolls too, right? Why not? Like, why wouldn't they do something like this? There's a mysterious switch on the wall. Notice the switch here? Uh, what is it for? Don't know, but there's an interesting note here. Above the switch are the words bonus attraction. Push it. You just wouldn't push it, Sarah? Of course. With a loud sound, something moved. Ooh, another door. A door op appeared. Is that? There's a piece of paper on the door. It reads, Room of Lies. <laughs> Hopefully it's like a lie detector test. The reward is major, though. Don't be fooled. If entangled by lies, you'll die. The bonus will close once someone clears it. Room of Lies. It's a 10th attraction. What the hell's going on here? Shouldn't be more like nine? Yes, we heard of that, but... And six clear chips? It's awfully suspicious, isn't it? Hey, Sarah, did you check on the nine attractions? Specifically, how many clear chips you get from each attraction? Out of the nine attractions, seven gives you two, one gives three, and one gives... Uh, one, two, three, four, four, okay. Right. And all the attractions gotta be done in pairs. Right. You notice yet, there's nine of us. That's an odd number. A person can't re-enter an attraction once they've already cleared it. So each attraction will always end up with one person who can't do it. Even if someone who can form a pair goes around every attraction, the number of clear chips we can get is 84. And for nine of us to win requires 90. So in- oh, so someone's gonna die. Someone will die. Then if we beat this bonus attraction, it gives us exactly enough. Ain't no logic in avoiding this place, Sarah. If we hadn't discovered this attraction, someone would have died. 
Now it's just who does it? Who? Of course I'll do it. But Reko? And who to pair up with? Me, of course? <laughs> well, so can't be trusted for crap. So again, kinda now don't want to put him in danger. Kitara probably needs compensation to co convince. That guy's a realist. What about KG? No offense, Sarah, but I can't trust that guy. He's hide something. I'll pair with you. I don't even have to think about it. I'll pair with you. You can't do that, Sarah. Why not? You're overworking yourself. No, I want to survive. <laughs> You saved our butts again and again, and I'm supposed to be older. I'm pathetic. I want to be equals with you, Sarah. Uh, that- okay, I'm a little sus of Reko. No, let me- I will take some of the chips. <laughs> don't be modest. Then please, don't be modest. You should choose the best option. If that's not me, then I understand. Sarah, I'm afraid to just wait around too. You sure? You got the stamina for this? Yes. Heck yeah, I'm in your debt, because really, I couldn't imagine anyone but you. Let's beat this and come out safe, partner. All right, okay. Wait, liquid trailed into my hand. So we did a handshake and liquid trailed through my hand. It was blood. That's when I finally noticed. Reko had scratches and bruises in inconspicuous places all over her body. She had been pushing herself. No doubt she challenged the attractions to earn clear chips for the powerless of us, like Gin and now. And surely there were more wounds on the thin- Oh yeah, that's right. We can- so we can trade, right? So they don't have to just- I mean, so someone could be selfish, but someone... I don't know. I'm so confused. I think someone's gonna die, though. I mean, I know someone's gonna die, but just how? Reko, what's up, Sarah? Forget it. Let's go. Everyone's doing their best! Alright, let's go. This is the Room of Lies? Pretty dark, you there, Sarah. Dang, look at all those stars, though. Yes, let's look around carefully. This doesn't look like a game. There's a table in the center of the room. Is it okay to approach? I approach to examine the top of the table. These are clear ships. And on the right is a rope. On top of the plate with the rope-like object on it, there was also a note. This is the web of happiness. In the final attraction, it may just save your lives. The web of happiness. That's astoundingly suspicious. Is it safe to touch? Reko, let's take the items on the table. Wait, in that case, let's do it together. Okay, well, Reko, you take the clear chips. Got it. Okay. I took the web of happiness. Don't you screw me! Reko. Huh? Suddenly, the lights went out. Oh! Reko? Sarah, run away! Reko! What's happening? I reached for Reko's hand at once and grabbed it. Let's run to the exit, Reko! Oh, how do I- what do I feel like it's only gonna be your hand or something crazy like that? <sighs> Are you alright, Re- I freaking knew it! Oh, it's just her glove! I mean, I was pretty close, though! Reko's glove. Reko? She's still in the room of lice! The room of death is what it should be called! The door is firmly shut. Uh, shout loudly. Reko! Oh, she's alive! <sighs> Scary as crap! Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I wasn't scared. Something the matter, Sarah? Um, as long as you're okay. I didn't drop the clear chips. Sure enough, she has all six. Woo! Dang, this game knows how to get you on edge. I got a cold sweat when it happened when I went pitch black. Don't you tell anyone I was freaking out. I wonder if she doesn't like the dark. I, in that circumstances, I don't think anyone would like the dark. But I wonder uh, what that was. You know, the part, the lie part? Um... The lie is that there's a lie? I wonder if she's saying there's a lie- Okay. Seriously, this ain't some trick question for kids. What are we gonna do with these uh, dubious clear chips? I was thinking I'd give them to someone who was having trouble collecting them, but... Sarah, you need one? Huh? Look, I get being weary, but you've got the right to have some. Should I accept this? Ooh, should we just be evil? I mean, I think we're gonna have to look out for ourselves. Uh. We both risk life and limb for these. I'll take one. There you go. Reko's hand. Wait, is this glove not yours, Reko? Wait, what's that? Reko was already wearing gloves on both hands? Yeah, that's mine. Why, you, why you've got it, sir? Why you've got it, sir? It's not Reko, is it? When I pulled your hand earlier, I... Pretty sure nobody pulled my hand. Then, what's this glove? Must be one of my spare gloves. Spare- that's the sussest thing I've ever heard! Ranger put full changes of clothes in our rooms, remember? The- though I remember 
Though I don't remember bringing this. I gave Reko her glove back. Well, thanks. Anyhow, we should get going. No, no, no. That is not Reko. The room of lies. Just what was it? And this uh, web of happiness. What could it be? No use in worrying about it, I guess. Maybe it's time to do an attraction. I wonder if KG found the culprit. Dude, that's not Reko. No way. Hey, what are you doing over here? Even without the professor, I'm fine. Oh yeah, she said she wouldn't cry anymore if I if I'm not mistaken. All right, so the only one we already did we've done all of these. Do I have to do do them again? Oh okay, what's going on here? KG's talking to Alice. Uh, what's that? I understand buying the personal info is the only way. Uh, what are you chatting about? Ah, uh, Sarah, just doing a little questioning. Feels like I'm doing my day job, huh? Uh, no, uh, sp not especially. Ah, oh, too bad. Uh, what was that? I thought I overheard something totally unrelated to the monitor incident. Yeah. Awful, isn't it? Okay. A little weird. Oh, here's some more challenges that we didn't even do. Alright, let's do one runaway Minecraft. <laughs> Alright, so this is about a cart. So, and he affects the cart, so I'm gonna partner with So. Oh my god, what are we about to do? We'll get through this together! I'll do my best not to drag you down. Runaway minecart rules. Ride in the minecart towards the goal, deal with the obstacles that appear on the way, and reach the goal within the time limit. I play Donkey Kong, I know how this is. Wooden wall, rapidly touch to destroy. Iron wall, mash on the screws to destroy. Bats, touch the danger sign to evade. Speed up, touch the sim- Okay, alright, let's try it. Touching your allies icon will give you advice. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's not that hard. I'll beat the crap out of you. Okay, touch that. Duck! <laughs> okay, so he just makes the cart faster then. Alright. Alright, we're probably gonna deal with. Oh, wood again. Wood again! I got this, I got this. It is just like Minecraft. So we already got wood, metal. This is easy. I mean, I can't really complain at all. Advance faster! Alright, what does he do? Be sure to respond in the warnings and speed up. Oh, that's all he does? Alright, well. I guess it's more of like a passive like thing, doesn't he? Definitely the easiest minigame so far. Yes! We freaking made it! Won the battle. So easy. Ah, that was a close one. I would have died without you here, Miss Sarah. And there's the clear chips. Let's be friendly and share them. Oh, how nice. Negotiation time. Dang, who's- I mean, I- I want- I'm kind of interested in Alice, to be honest. One of my, one of the coolest looking characters, I think. All right, let's hear a short pitch. What do you, what do you want? What did you forget? You promised we trade for the treasure once you collected Reko's tokens, right? Don't tell me you couldn't get the tokens because I'll never forgive you if you do. Oh yeah, that's that's right. We did promise. I forgot. All right, uh, let's. I'll trade you. Did you in fact collect Reko's tokens? Show me them. Why, you actually bought them, or brought them. Well done, Sarah. I'll praise you for that. Give the tokens. Handed Alice 20 Reco tokens. I have received them. Now let us go to the prize exchange. All right, I'll buy it. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, last stream, what of you guys donated to me? You wanted me to get this one, so this is for you, okay? Oh, my stomach hurts. He's been like this for five minutes now. What should I do? What does the game want? Do I, do I go somewhere else? I can't do anything else. What am I doing? Oh. Oh, I have to talk to him. Um, can you trade for Reko Yabusame? Yab can you trade for Reko Yabusame's treasure here? Uh, you can. It may be purchased for 20 of Mrs. Reko's uh, tokens. Here's 20 tokens. I'll trade it to me. Certainly. This is Mrs. Reko's treasure. You may now take it. Those are the bungos. The bungos. I knew it. Impossible. You say her Reko's treasure is this worthless present I gave her? I thought there was some mistake. Some mistake of yours, Sarah. Uh, 
You seem happy. Hey, give me those! You seem happy, Alice. Sorry for poking fun, but I bet you were hoping for this. You want to repair your relationship with Reko, don't you? I am. Not a person who asks for selfish things or asks selfish things. For intended to... I intend to atone for my crime, for the victim's family, and for my own. If only it weren't for this this death game. There's not enough time left to do this in the proper order. So just once before I die, I want to apologize to Reko. Sarah, thank you. I will give her the bongos. Right. This is supposed to be a touching moment, but when they say bongos, it makes me laugh. I wonder if that's enough. As the one who brought it up, I feel some responsibility to watch over this. Should I go after Alice? Alice and Rekka were uh, talking in the lobby. If it's nothing, then I'm out of here. Wait, Rekko! Aren't these bongos yours? That's why you... I found them at the prize exchange. I was surprised. I thought you'd long since thrown them out. Yeah, I always thought about tossing them. But I could never do it. Because of me, right? That day, when you sent me the letter telling me that you were cutting contact, rather than shock, I just thought, yeah, I figured. You are a musical demon overflowing with talent. I thought you were quick to forget your garbage deadweight brother living life as if suited to you, or suited you. I told myself that to find relief, to comfort that my actions had no effect on you, to confirm that my actions had no effect on you, but you couldn't throw away those bongos. They... They sell these just anywhere. The traces of use and of careful maintenance to conceal, conceal that fact, the more I look at them, the more they look like traces of your suffering. She, when she was sad, she played those bongos, man. Oh, man, it was her tears. Shut up, what are you getting at, Reko? Let me apologize. I made you and your parents suffer for so long. It may sound flimsy, but it's how I really feel. Why did she, why does she say it like your parents? I thought they were brother and sister. Or did I forget something? I'm truly sorry. Would you accept these? Alice offered the bongos, hands trembling. Rekka took the bongos, seemingly unable to bear it, and threw them to the ground. How are you gonna do those bongos that way? Rekko? Such a piece of crap. Didn't I tell you? I was always thinking I'd throw these dang things out. That is not Rekko. That is not Rekko. She clearly just stated earlier how much she cared about them. It's not her. Don't act like a big brother, Alice. You and me are complete strangers now. You think this crap will let us re reconcile? You even realize you took a person's life? For two and a half years, I never once forgotten about my crime. Then why would you ever interact with me again? Don't get in my freaking way, murderer. This is awful. I believe they'd be able to re reconcile. I had never seen Reko look so terrifying. This wasn't a matter of an outsider to speak on, but... Please wait, Reko! Sarah? Don't meddle with us, Sarah! But... Reko, go after Alice. No, go after Reko. Don't come after me, Sarah. Why would you do that? This is between me and Alice. But... Was that how you really feel? That's right, I've always kept it in. The resentment I wouldn't let out on him. Then why did you treasure the bongos until now? Heck if I know, I just couldn't toss him. Reko, I didn't want you to see this, Sarah. I meant I lost my cool, but listen, this is our problem. I don't... I didn't do that because I wanted to. Reko, don't look at me anymore. I'm not going to be able to look in you in the eye. It hurts. I can't imagine Reko truly hates him, but I couldn't do anything for their relationship. I'll leave. I'm very sorry. I left the hallway disappointed. Hey, Sarah. I heard a feeble voice behind me. Do you hate me now? I do. <sighs> no. It's because I like you that I, can, I can't turn a blind eye. I see. I trust you too, you know, for real. Hearing Rekko's voice on the verge of tears, I couldn't bring myself to turn around. Is it not her? <laughs> Sarah! What is this? Oh, sorry for scaring you. Just wanted you to... <laughs> Just wanted you to come someplace. Come to the room corridor, you hear? And don't keep me waiting. When the world is it? You hear it? Nobody saw it, right? What? Uh, here's this passage. The gap in the rubble here. Can you fit through? There's a gap here. What does it lead? That's for you to see. He's too buff to fit through it. A computer room? What the heck? 
Getting some flashbacks. Where is this? A monitor without power. A machine emitting red light. Is this a computer? No good, it doesn't seem to boot up. You're late. This way, how did you fit through there? KG, quiet, uh, try not to alert anyone to this place just in case. Kyutaro finally found it. Found what? Uh, Kai's laptop, of course. What? That's pretty important. It was unquestionably his laptop. You found this here? Yeah, sure did. But this laptop should have vanished from the first floor after Kai retrieved it. Why is it here on the third floor? Uh, it beats me, but there's no mistake, this is Kai's laptop. The possibilities I can think of are either someone collected this and put it here, or Kai put it here. Hold it, guys. Seek the truth later, all right? Sarah, KG, I called you over so you could break this into, uh, into this laptop. I can't use a computer for beans. <laughs> uh, investigate uh, what's on it? Let's, let's give it a shot. All right. Okay, it's on. Please, get us some good info, anything. Wait a second. We should come up with a plan first for what data to look for. I booted up and displayed a password. Oh, we know it already, right? Wait, it's still nearly drained. It's okay. I know the password. So mentioned in the main game. The password is Shidoin. I enter the password. Incorrect! They changed it! The password's wrong? Unless he lied. What the? You kidding me? What's going on? So lied. No, calm down. That can't be right. It's because he hit upon the password that he discovered Kai was the owner of the laptop. Kai changed the password. That's the only explanation. What do we do? The battery's at 4%. Sarah, uh, type in something only you would know. Only I? Uh, if Kai really had a connection to your family, I bet he'd use a password we couldn't guess. That doesn't really narrow it down. I don't know, my family is just normal. There's nothing special to try. Kai, just what were you thinking? A connection to me? Our family's got a hero in the shadow, Sarah. Father? I entered another password. Hey, it works! All right! Dad. I just typed in Dad's name. Did you know Kai? The battery's on 3%. What do we do? Emails. Check the emails. Okay. The email's log. Oh, he's got a VPN. <laughs> Access his Club Penguin account. We need to confirm whether those uh, were real or all lies. I opened Kai sent emails. As planned, 70 people have been secured just in case there's no error in the place of the death game. Everything is proceeding smoothly. I feel a deep affection for Masira as well. I would certainly protect her. I am prepared to offer myself up for the Chidoans. It's about time. If any harm comes to Sarah, I will stand against you even as my enemy. Miss Sarah is looking forward to games. Surely her friend will also be take take part. Uh, there they are. Yep, exactly what So said. Then So wasn't lying. That's kind of weird. Uh, wait, these emails. Uh, we just read them in reverse order, uh, from newest to oldest. Sarah, there must be received emails corresponding to these. Right, I'll check. Okay. There, sure enough, there were conversations. Uh, sort them out, rearrange them in the proper order. I sorted the emails and began reading. This should tell us Kai's actions. And Kai looked different right here. Uh, hello. Uh, did you know Sarah's going to a board game meetup? Wonder if she's uh, going alone. Papa's worried she might uh, make some bad friends. Miss Sarah is looking forward to the game. It's surely her friend wants to take part. Kai? I never told you. So when did you find out? It sounds like he's talking to a girl. The way they're, you know, typing. I swear, about the only time I have any idea that what you're up to is when you're there at home replying with, uh, from your computer. Ah, oh, well, keep up the good work. Thanks a million- Thank you, a million! This ins insipid message? That's exactly how my dad types. Really? So your pops and Kai were in communication? If Why does he say- Why? That's so weird. Guards work, uh, what's that about? Our guard work. Grouped emails number two. Kai, you betrayed us, betrayed the organization, betrayed me. It's about time. If any harm comes to Sarah Chidoin, I will stand against even you as my enemy. Unforgivable. It's all come to nothing. Just try and struggle with your puny arms. Hey, the guy in this email, it's not my father. From the context, maybe one of Kai's parents? And it says Kai betrayed the organization. Organization? Kai, just what were you doing? Hmm. Hello, uh, freak. Feeling kinda in danger lately. Oh, it's okay. It's Sarah they're after. She's being targeted. I'm attached to this house, but I guess I gotta discard it and run. Well, will you come, Kai? I feel a deep affection for Miss Sarah as well. I will certainly protect her. Yeah, yeah. You really are the greatest hero ever. Thank you, Zemillion! Another conversation with my father. Dad knew that something would happen. 
discard the house and run. Sarah, were you making plans to move soon? Say, I didn't hear anything that I didn't hear anything. Settle down, keep reading. Group team was four. Are you the contact? You should know not to use this address. I'll hear the report, but follow the rules from now on. As plan 17 people have been secured just in case. Okay, so he was working with both? I see, you've done well. On the most futile efforts. Thought you could pretend to be my contact and disrupt things, Kai? You're at home right now, away from the Chidoan's house, aren't you? You've got a tip. I've got a tip for you. The phrase you just sent, X people have been secured, is the trigger that sets the plan in motion. You fell for the trap, Kai. Sarah Chidoan will be captured soon. Thank you, a million. What the heck is happening? I don't know what it means. This one is from the day of the kidnapping. What's the big idea? I'm not following at all. Hmm, I'll sum it up. Kai was in correspondence with two people. One was Sarah's father and one was Kai's parents, who belonged to the kidnappers organization. As soon as Kai betrayed the organization, he chose to instead protect Sarah. And to that and to do that, on the day of the kidnapping, Kai sent a fake email to the organization. Maybe the idea was that it'd disrupt the organization letting Sarah escape. But his ruse was fully exposed, he just got ears and said. Cause think he's a million was the sign off ears between Kai and Sarah's dad. The emails were going straight through all of their exchanges went to the organization. No way. Then Kai wasn't a stalker at all. He guarded me in secret to protect me. Uh, the only time Kai left his guard duty, it was when he sent emails from home. That's one crafty trick. Even after his cover was blown, I'm sure Kai was still trying to warn me. That night, coming home with Joe, that's why he stood in our way. Then I remembered. That the stalker had been saying, Don't go home. Holy crap. I mean, that's a face to be scared of. The battery's gone dead. Couldn't get any info related after all. To escape after all. But still, sure enough, Kai wasn't a good for nothing villain. Isn't that information really beneficial? There's still things we uh, could check. If we can just get it charged, we'll boot this laptop back up. So now I'm starting to think Joe was part of like the organization or something. Sarah, you hold on to it, Kutaro. Me? Yes. For the time being, let's not tell anyone else about this. It's a secret weapon just for us three, making sure you don't spill the beans. But I got a feeling KG is it's probably bad, you know? I gotcha. That's settled then. We should just act the same as yesterday. Yeah, I'll hide the laptop in my bedroom and go do an attraction or something. We should get going too, yes. Okay. We left the rubble filled room. Day number two, noon. Wait, Kana's alone? What happened, I wonder? Well! I think that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Uh, smash like if you want more, of course. Sorry for, for taking so long. Uh, so far, you know, I'm still interested in this game. I can't exactly say I was interested as, as I am uh, when it comes to like something like Danganronpa, but I'm still giving it a chance. And if you guys are still interested, I will still love to make more. Uh, what will happen? At least we're understanding more. Kai was actually a G. He wasn't actually bad. Anyway, let me know if you want more. As always, I'll continue if you guys keep supporting. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.